What is up? We are here back with day 12 of No Nut November. All right. Day 12 of not busting a nut. <laughs> All right. First, let's get into the day. My day. Uh, man, it was a normal day. It was a great day. I'm grateful to be alive. It was a blessed day. It's just an awesome day. I did all my work. I did everything I'm supposed to do. I made my calls. I'm getting better at sales. I'm getting better at uh, closing people on the phone. I went for the close like two or three times today, like a hard close, like trying to get them, you know, doing a few word tracks, hitting them with a few lines, trying to get them to uh, close. Did work out. I need to get better, but it is what it is. Um, you know, I hit my goal. I made another YouTube video. Today was good, bro. It was just a good day, good work day. I have six properties under contract right now. All right, so uh, yeah, six properties under contract. That is wild, that is wild. <sighs> My partner went to go look at one of the properties I had under, I got under contract. So we'll see what happens with that. All right, so no nut November. You know, cause I'm paying attention to like I'm paying attention to like, uh, you know, I'm just conscious of no nut November, you know, like none of that, no fab, no nothing, no lust, no nothing. Like I don't even think about stuff twice. And anyways, today it's just, uh, since I've like been blocking those thoughts out automatically, right? I've just been blocking those thoughts automatically. And so my brain is like desexualizing, I feel like like it's really i don't know just everything so since i've been cutting out all my thoughts i don't like entertain sexual thoughts it's my brain is like literally just desexualizing itself and so earlier when i was using the bathroom it was just like i, I saw my stuff and i just didn't see it like that i didn't see it in a sexual way and this is what i mean like Back before, no, not November, I didn't have a reason to stop fapping. Like I did have a reason, like I told myself reasons, like I wanna desexualize my brain, I wanna be better, I don't wanna have lust in my heart, I wanna be more godly, things like that. But there was no like real parameters, there was no like real consequences if I did fap, right? With this, with me being on YouTube, th these are real consequences. Like I, I'm posting it on YouTube, like, you know? And so, before it was always i was able to kind of rationalize in my thoughts like in my head like it's okay you could do it just one time it wouldn't hurt you might as well you know things like that those type of thoughts would pop up those are not popping up anymore because i'm just not allowing it or i'm just not having those thoughts because i'm thinking about youtube i'm thinking about my channel i'm thinking about you guys and so you know i saw my junk earlier and it's just like a quick thought of like, like a thought trying to be sexual popped up in my head, right? Like a thought try, a thought popped up that was trying to be sexual and it disgusted me. It literally disgusted me, bro. Like, you know, before No Nut November, everything was sexualized. Everything. I was sexualizing myself all the time. I was sexualizing myself. I was sexualizing any girl I talked to any girl i was wondering like some inappropriate primitive stuff bro like you know and it, and that's really bad too like in this generation like in this age where like girls basically just walk around naked all the time so and so i was so used to sexualizing everything i see everything i see either was a dirty joke or like a sexual fantasy and you know, I would do that to myself sometimes. Like I would like, sometimes I'd look at myself and you know, it would, I would just sexualize everything. Like everything would, I'm not saying that everything would turn me on, but it could, it got to a point to where like, like I'd look at a water bottle and like, you know what I mean? And so, but anyways, a, a thought, try to be sexual and popped up in my head and it literally disgusted me it just like grossed me out 
and I just don't look at myself like that anymore. I don't sexualize myself and I just stopped sexualizing women because I have a consequence in my head that if I sexualize anything, it's going to lead to thoughts. And if those, and those thoughts are going to lead to, you know, them internalizing and me internalizing sexual thoughts are going to lead to me failing, relapsing, fapping. And that's just not an option. I don't know. Somehow I tied fapping with like my career and my purpose. And ever since I, so far it's just been 12 days, but since I've tied it with like my purpose, it's like done. It's like a non-negotiable. Whereas before I didn't tie it with my purpose. It was just like a loose end, like the lust of me, like everything else, like vaping, cigarettes, weed, it got cut off because I tied it to my purpose. Like my purpose was leading me in a certain direction and this, like those things were holding me back from my purpose. Well, before No Not November, I didn't really see the lust. I mean, like I could see how it would get in my way. Like, you know, it's not very professional or whatever, or like it could cause like you to be a narcissist or something. But it was like, it wasn't directly interfering with my purpose. And my purpose is like, real estate, making a million dollars, making a million dollars and having a million followers, right? And so, and like a personal brand, that's what I mean, like a personal brand. And I wanna have my own personal brand. Like I wanna grow and I wanna help people and I wanna influence people and I wanna motivate and inspire people, right? And so when I put that on the line, like in front of everything, on YouTube, in front of everybody, like I put everything on the line now it's like my purpose is in jeopardy because of my lust or like my lust has the the opportunity or possibility to jeopardize my purpose and for me that's a non-negotiable for me that's just not gonna happen that's not because it was that lust was never like a well it was it was like a very big thing to me right or a very big thing for me. Like I would always over-sexualize everything. My mind was over-sexualized. Like I couldn't talk to anybody without like, like I couldn't talk to a girl without wondering like what her nipples look like or like what she would look like doing some inappropriate stuff. So it was always big for me, but eventually I guess as time went on, as me being, with me being out here, you know, yeah, you know, I. I did a few things with uh, a girl or whatever, so I was still like sexual, like sexually active, but I don't know, recently it's just seemed like, it's just not like, it's it's like a, it's like weed. It's like weed, it's like why, like what's the big deal? Like what's the big deal? It's like, it's just sex and it's stupid and it's degrading sometimes. It's like when you look at someone in just a sexual way, it's degrading, you're degrading them. You know, I was, if if I'm, I'm degrading myself, like it just became more clear to me as I stayed out here more and more. It's like, it's like just over sexualizing things. Like it's just degrading and demeaning. I'm not saying that sex is degrading and demeaning or bad, but I'm just saying like lust is, lust is just, is degrading and it's like, and it was just unimportant. It's like, I don't get that much satisfaction out of it. It's like, what do you get? A quick nut? Like a quick nut? Like, what is that? Like, who cares? Like, you look like a fool. You look like an idiot. Like, jerking off to a screen alone in your room. Like, bro, get a hold of yourself. And I was, it's just immature. And I was just like, if you really want to be a man, bro, you can't be doing that. And so... Yeah, the point is like my brain, I could feel my brain desexualizing. Now I know it's only day 12, right? I think the longest I've ever gone, you know, I've gone 30 days by the grace of God. So that's like, that wasn't me. Like that's just, I can't take credit for that. It was like the grace of God. I just wasn't tempted for some reason. But the longest I've gone like on my own strength, willpower, like really trying was like 20, 25 days or something. From what I remember. And so, but I know that around day 14 is when it like starts to get really tough for me, but I've just never felt this way before. Like I genuinely feel like my brain is being desexualized.
Like, even if, like I said yesterday, even if, uh, you know, I'm randomly getting a boner or something, or I, I, I'm randomly getting bricked throughout the day, which happens, that happens, you know, I'm a healthy male, so my dick gets hard sometimes. But uh, even if that happens, it's like, my mind just has control. Like I have control of my mind. And it just, it doesn't, I don't let it, you know, cause you'll wake up, I'll wake up bricked. You know, I'm, I'm a dude, I'm, I'm normal. I'm a normal human being, bro. Like my body still functions in a normal way. So I'm waking up bricked like almost every day. That's just a normal thing. It's called morning wood. But, and I notice it, I notice it. It's not like I, I just don't notice my dick is hard, but like I'll, I'll wake up like that, but it's just, I don't pay any mind to it. I don't pay any attention to it. And you know, these videos are getting like extremely explicit, but I knew these videos would get explicit because this is No Nut November and I'm being real. And when I see other people on YouTube talking about no fab semen retention and no nut November, it does motivate me and they'll be graphic as hell. And and I love it because I, I'll relate to it and I appreciate it. I appreciate people being real on YouTube and vulnerable. And then, so that's what I just wanna be. I wanna be real and vulnerable. I wanna be, I just wanna be real. And I want other people to see like that, it, you know, certain things are possible. I want to just keep leveling up and be the highest version of myself and motivate other people to do the same thing because it's possible. If I could come from where I came from, bro, I came from a broken home. I was on drugs. I was on meth, crack. I didn't. I wasn't shooting up heroin like that, but I did shoot up heroin twice, but I never got addicted to it. And I was snorting heroin. I, I loved Xanax, alcohol, partying. I was addicted to sex. I was having sex like all the time, bro. I was gross. And, but I came from all that and I was always in and out of jail. Like, I mean, just go look at my uh, two year transformation video. I mean, that didn't really get the full depth of how bad I was, but still I was missing my teeth. I was out of shape and I was high when I made that video. Um like when I was first recording it, but I'm just saying, I never thought I'd get to this point to where like my mind is being desexualized. Again, it's only day 12, but still, I just see, I just, I just see the momentum. And I, and like I said, everything's been different this, these past 12 days. Like I've been talking to myself different. My affirmations have been different and it's been building up from these past 70 days of me being out here on my own. And I could just feel me like just growing into my own man and like growing into my character and my character is developing. And yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy because out of all the vices, out of all of the vices that I quit, right? And at the time when I was trying to quit those vices, they all felt impossible to quit, right? But I ended up quitting cigarettes. I ended up quitting pills. I ended up quitting um, vaping. I ended up quitting smoking weed. Smoking weed really felt like it was impossible to quit. All of them felt impossible to quit. But after I quit every single one of my vices, the last thing on the checklist was lust. It was lust. And I swear to you, though, I swear, dog, like, lust felt like it was impossible to beat. I felt like I was never never, 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 never going to get over it. I was like, this is just what it is. Like, how can I, how can somebody possibly get over this? Because I was thinking like, it's just in my DNA. You know, it's just like, but now I could see like the possibility and the opportunity of being set free from lust. Like, it's just been years and years and years of like fighting well, it's been three years of me, like, seriously being on self-development, but I'm saying, like, I remember, like, fighting and fighting and fighting and feeling like I could never get over it, and now I, like, see, like, the light at the end of the tunnel, and it's crazy. It's honestly crazy, bro. Like, I never really, I'm saying this, like, and I'm saying I know this because today, like, when I said, like, there was a thought that popped up that wanted to sexualize myself but I shut it down and I got disgusted by it. It was like the first time, like I, I thought about that, me having that moment. And I was like, 
I respect myself now. Like, it's like the first time I really like fully, full on respect myself. Wow, this is crazy. I'm like having like a breakthrough, like right now on video. Like I'm starting to like fully respect myself and accept myself for who I am. I'm not degrading myself. I'm not demeaning myself. I'm not saying negative things to myself. I'm not beating myself up anymore. Like it started with doing the shadow work and I have to do a video on that on like journaling, but like doing the shadow work and having the big breakthroughs of me being out here is actually crazy. And now I feel like I'm able to not sexualize everything because of like all the other things compiling, but it could be summed up in like, now I'm starting to love myself. Like I'm genuinely, like some people don't even, doesn't, don't even know what that means. Like to love yourself. Like it sounds good, but like, sometimes it's hard to understand like like recently i've just been accepting myself the parts of me that i don't like the parts of me that i may not agree with at times i'm just talking to myself like bro it's okay we're good i love you let's get through this let's go it's not just like a disciplined willpower i'm gonna do all the things i'm gonna do all the disciplined steps it's not like that it's about like genuinely accepting myself and from that, I, I like noticed like, wow, I had a moment of like self-respect, like deep self-respect and nobody's here to like watch me. I'm not doing this for anyone. It's like, I'm doing it for me, you know? So that's crazy, bro. Self-respect, bro, that's wild, you know? Cause you know, we try to, I try to respect myself as much as I can, but sometimes when you do things that you hate, when you end up doing things you hate, you end up hating yourself because you're doing those things and you end up losing respect for yourself. Damn, that's crazy. That's wild. That's a breakthrough. That's a bar. Like, man, in the past, I always had an issue with myself because I was doing things that I know weren't right. I was doing things that I know I didn't want to do. And that's, I ended up resenting myself, not liking myself, not respecting myself. And because that I didn't respect myself, didn't like myself, it, start, it started a loop. It started a cycle of me doing more things because I felt shame. Wow. Wow, I'm honestly having a breakthrough. Okay, so something happens to you in your life. You're hurt. You get hurt by somebody. Somebody hurts you right? You get sad, you feel hurt, you get depressed, and you end up doing things to try to numb the pain. But you don't, you don't know that in the moment you're doing things that you don't like. You're doing things that are causing you to not respect yourself. But you don't know it in the moment. You know it in hindsight, post-nut clarity, you know? So after you do the things that you hate yourself about, or after you do the things that you weren't proud of, now you start to hate yourself on top of whatever trauma, whoever hurt you. So now you start to hate yourself. You start to lose respect for yourself. You start to resent yourself. And then you do more things that you, to deal with that shame and guilt, you do more things that you know are gonna hurt you. And now it just starts a cycle of shame and guilt and uh, disrespecting yourself and degrading yourself. And wow, it's really hard to get out of that because it's a loop. It's, it was so, it's, it, bro, it's been so hard to get out of that, but now I'm like seeing it, that I'm like out of it. Like I'm getting out of it at least. Wow, that's crazy, bro. I, this video is too long. I don't want this video to get too long. It's gonna take forever to upload. If you like this video, if you got any value out of this, man, make sure to like the video, bro. Comment if you have any thoughts or if you've been going through something similar or if you have went through something similar in the past, I'd love to hear about it, right? Come, I mean, uh, subscribe if you wanna see videos like this. I upload videos weekly about wholesaling real estate, self-development, self-improvement, and uh, life in general. So stay motivated.